Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist guys. So today the new Premier League cards have been launched as you can see on my screen here. That only means one thing, it's time to draft your Premier League team on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do just that and showing you what team I'm drafting and putting forward for the upcoming game week on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. So do make sure you do stick around. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Surrey yet, you can cost sign up to Surrey using the link in the description below. You will get a free limited card. That's one of these gold coloured cards here, guys. After buying your first five cards on auction. Surely agree, these cards are looking really, really good. And they're actually 3D cards as well now, guys, on the Surrey mobile app. So I'm just going to go on to that briefly, then I'll go ahead and show you how to draft your Premier League teams on Surrey Fantasy Football. So let's have a, just have a quick look at the video guys of these new 3D cards on Surrey. So a new season guys and a new dimension on Surrey. The Surrey cards have now gone 3D. As you can see, these cards are looking fantastic. And you can... Connect with the game like never before, and you can actually access these 3D cards on the Surrey app to make this even a more fantastic experience in the global fantasy football game where you can win once in a lifetime experiences, sand shirts, and much more. So, as you can see, guys, the new 3D cards look absolutely fantastic. Like I say, if you do want to take a look at these, you will need to look on the Surrey mobile app that's available on android and iphone so guys let's get on with drafting our team in the premier league for server fantasy football to do that guys all you need to do is go over to the play button here upcoming and then as you can see there's a number of leagues actually here guys as well so there's also the german bundesliga league the french league one there's also the spanish la liga and the American MLS and the Italian Serie A. But of course, we're just going to be concentrating on the Premier League amateur tournament here today, guys, and drafting our team. Before we go ahead and draft, I'm just going to show you what sort of rewards are on offer here. So I'm just going to click on this, on the Premier League draft. As you can see, the, see these are just common cards only, and there's 300 limited cards on offer guys so that's the gold colored cards i just showed you at the start of the video you can also pick a captain as well we'll get to 50 percent bonus and obviously it's only players from the english premier league so yeah like i said there's plenty of rewards up for grabs guys and i think it's the it's the top 300 managers receive a card and obviously all these rewards guys are going to be a premier league player You'll also get some Sir coins as well, some Sir Rare coins for scoring a certain number of points, as you can see here. So if you score over 350 points, you will get 40 Sir Rare coins. You can use that in the future to save up and potentially purchase sand jerseys and things like that on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. Right, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and draft my Premier League team. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this draft button here. That will bring me to this screen where we're going to be seeing all the common cards of all the Premier League players that are available to pick on Sir Rare Fantasy Football. As you can see, you have these gems at the bottom here then, guys. So 400 gems you have to spend on your team, which is an average of around 50 points per player. Now, the points are worked out by their last 15 scores on Surrey Fantasy Football, guys. So, in the last 15 games, Haaland has scored an average of 58 points in his last 15 games. So, that means he's going to cost 58 points to get out of the total 400. Another thing to note as well, guys, that you do need to pick two forwards, two midfielders, two defenders, and two goalkeepers. Now the tactic that I'm going to employ here guys, I'm going to pick a really the cheapest possible goalkeeper in one of my goalkeeper slots. I'm then also going to pick a cheap defender and then a cheap midfielder or, for, or forward. Because you do need of course five players who will be in your starting lineup. So your starting lineup will only consist of five players guys. So what I do is probably 
try and save a bit of money and get the cheapest possible players in the positions that you're not going to be playing. So I'm going to do that now, guys. We're going to start with my goalkeeper. I'm going to get the cheapest possible player on here. So the cheapest possible player, guys, is going to be 40. So the minimum points that a player will have is 40 on the draft, okay? So looking at this straight away, I can see that Ramsdale is looking a pretty decent bet here. He's just 40 points. So that's looking a decent option there, guys. Um, Dean Henderson as well for Crystal Palace might be a decent one, especially if you're thinking of having other Arsenal players because you can only pick two players from the same team, guys, in your draft. So you can't just have a full team of my night players or Arsenal players. You can only have a maximum of two players from any one club. So that's something to note, guys. Very important thing to note there. So who would I want to pick here? Now, now I want someone ideal who's going to be starting because if the main goalkeeper that I pick doesn't start for any reason or is injured, I can then potentially call upon the sub-goalkeeper I've got. Another option as well, of course, is guys, you can buy the main goalkeeper of a team and then maybe buy the backup goalkeeper for that team, which is probably going to be a lot, lot cheaper. Um, but then, obviously, you can't pick any other players from that team. What I tend to do is I like to have a defensive stack of a goalkeeper and defender from the same team in my starting lineup. So that is the tactic I'm going to deploy here, guys. So just looking at these, I think Pickford's looking pretty good. Don't think I'll be picking any other Everton players. So I'm actually going to pick him as my cheap goalkeeper option. Now defenders, I'm going to do the same thing for these guys. Ben Chilwell's looking pretty good. Is he still injured or has he been playing? No, he has been playing, so that's good. He has been playing the games. I think he's probably could do better and I think Chelsea will probably do better. They can't get any worse. And Chelsea is another team that I'm probably not going to be picking any other players within their team. So I think um, Chilwell is looking really promising here, guys. Because I do expect him to score a little bit better than he has been doing so far. So I'm actually going to go with Chilwell there, guys, as my other cheaper option. So again, guys, these are just going to be the second choice. It's not really going to be the starting ones. I'm just trying to pick some players in, this, in the cheaper slots. And then I will move on to the midfielders and forwards to let me know what I've got left. Now that's what I'm probably going to do now actually because as you can see <clears throat> I will need either two forwards or two midfielders in my starting lineup guys so I've not signed on them yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pick my goalkeeper next, my main starting goalkeeper. I have to do a little bit of research guys and I've got a little bit of a shortcut um, shortlist going here as you can see got some big names there in goal as the potential shortlist. And the one that really caught the eye for me was Vicario, he's looking good with Tottenham. And the potential stack with him was a player at the back for them, of course. And that is Pedro Porro, who's potentially got really good chance of getting some decent scores. So just filter this to the games he started, guys. We can see he's capable of these peak scores, which is probably what you're going to need to actually be winning the tournaments on so rare fans of football the amateur division anyway and as you can see he has been starting as well guys so i think these two as a defensive stack looks really really promising but of course if i do pick those players then that means that i'm not going to be able to pick players like um, son of course and also of course james madison as well who's also a fantastic player on so rare uh, fancy football. Tottenham is having a fantastic time. Getting some really big scores on here as well, guys, as you can see. The max score is 100, by the way, if you're new to so rare. Uh, so as you can see, it's getting some really, really good peak scores here on so rare uh, fancy football. I think I'm going to go with this basis of picking um, Vicario as my main goalkeeper for Tottenham. They're looking really good under their new manager, and I do expect that to continue. Um, so I think they're going to have a really good season. And Poro is looking pretty cheap at 48. That's why he really stuck out to me. And Vicario is looking all right as well. He's 55 points. I think that is a really good defensive stack potentially. So that leaves me then, guys, after I've spent all that money with £215 left. Well, points, sorry, out of the 400 points. So that's an average of 53 points per player. 
But if we go off the basis that I'm going to be finding another cheap player among these four players that's going to cost me 40 points, that's going to leave me 175 points left in the kitty guys. And that will leave me an average of 58 points per player, guys. So that could be a really, really good choice. And get me some really good players, guys. So as you can see, Haaland is actually 58 points. So I think that is going to give me a really good chance of getting some quality players in my midfield and up front. So then, guys, with that in mind, I'm going to go over to my shortlist of midfielders and forwards. Have a look at some of these players a little bit closely in terms of their scores on Surrey Fantasy Football. And then I'm going to have a look at the potential cost of these players and then add them to my team. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to pick any more Tottenham players if I stick with a back two of Tottenham players because of course you could only have two players from the same team in your survey lineup. So we'll put Madison at the end there because I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick him. I'll also add Son in there as well. Now that would be a good attacking stack actually. Midfielder Madison and forward Son. But we'll see how this goes guys. I'm just going to look for these players just arrange them into midfielders and forwards. So we've got a midfielder there. And if there's any players from the same team, that's a bonus. Because I could potentially do a nice defensive, I mean attacking stack, then you see. So we've got a few Arsenal players by the looks of things. Obviously Man City player um, as well. Being a Man United supporter as well, I'm really tempted to pick Bruno... Fernandez, just so I've got a main eight player in there, and then potentially go for a strong attacking stack in the other two slots. So I think I'm potentially going to go with that premise, guys. So if you just go to Bruno Fernandez, he's going to be costing me a lot, though 72 points. Bruno Fernandez will cost me, guys. But if you look at his scores, look, it's absolutely fantastic. Let's just have a look at some of these other scores. So Rod Rigo is also good. 58 points for him. Um, we've got Pascal Gross for Brighton. And we've also got Solly Marsh for Brighton as well, actually. So that could be a potential double up there. But they're both midfielders. But that wouldn't be the worst thing. But as you can see, they're going to probably cost me, because it's based on the last 15 guys, so it's probably going to cost me around 63 and 60 for Marsh. So that might not be the best option there. We've got Odegaard, 63. Don't think I'm going to go over um, Newcastle, so I'm going to get rid of him now. We've got Declan Rice as well. So we've got quite a few midfielder options here for Arsenal. Let's just have a look at the scoring. So Odegaard's looking good. Declan Rice is not bad, but he's not really getting the peak scores, so I'm getting rid of him. And we've also got another midfielder here, Saka. Who's showing really good scores actually guys. And he's 59. So that's near to the the, the, the cap that I was thinking about. Um, we've got some my eight players here as well. I'm not convinced on Casemiro though. So I'll get rid of him. Fernand, um, Ericsson might be a decent one. He is capable of getting some good scores. Not for my United though actually. So I'm going to get rid of him as well. We've got Haaland who's obviously fantastic on the score matrix. He's going to get you plenty of goals. He will need a couple of goals though to get these peak scores. But he is of course more than capable of doing that. And he's only 58 so that's not too bad. Martinelli could be a good one as well as a forward option for um, Arsenal. So it looks like a defensive attacking stack Sorry, of Arsenal players could be a good option. Potentially Saka and Martinelli. That could be a really good option there. We've of course got Salah, but he's going to cost a lot, 67 points. And then we're on to the Tottenham players again. So, this is looking interesting, guys. Now, Gross and March are actually more expensive than Saka and Martinelli. Um, there's also Odegaard as an option as well for Arsenal. So, I think I'm going to do with you guys. I think I'm going to go with potentially... <clears throat> an Arsenal midfielder and forward. Now we also have to consider Gabriel Jesus as well. He's only 50 points, guys. Now, I know he was injured. He has been, has he been coming on as a sub potentially? Let's just check that out now, guys. 
I know he's being injured, hasn't he? So I don't know if he's still coming back to fitness. I was hoping it was going to be a bit cheaper, actually, because I was going to have him as the cheaper option. So he is. He scored in the last game against Man United. He's been playing mainly as a sub, though, by the looks of things. Maybe still getting back to match fitness there, potentially. They've got um, Nketiah up front at the moment. But I do expect Jesus to get his um, Jesus to get his place back in the team there. So that could be an option. What I'm going to do here though, guys, I'm just going to sort this actually by points lowest. Just to see if there's any real bargains to having that extra slot there, guys, in a forward or midfield role. We've got Rickarlison. Now, has he been playing for Tottenham? Yeah, I don't know if he has. Let's keep looking down the list here. See if there's any potential bargains. Now, Inketio is obviously an option. He's only 40. Got Ganacho as well, but he's not the best really on Surrey, I would say. Um, we've got Hodgland. That could be an outside punt. One that I'm tempted by as well, actually, guys. So obviously, I'm a United supporter. If he could do potentially well at United, then he could be a bit of a cheap a cheap punt at the moment. Um, so I'm actually going to do that, guys. I'm going to select Hoyland. Because there's no other player I want in the United squad, really, apart from Bruno Fernandes. Now, I'm just going to go back up to the top. I'm just going to filter this by midfielders to see if there's any really cheap midfielders that are a better, better option than... Um, Hoidland. Mount looks pretty good as well at only 40 guys. That looks a pretty decent one. Especially if he starts playing on the right wing while Anthony is absent. We won't go into that any further, but um, that could be a good one. Van der Beek never plays, so I won't, I'd stay away from that. Um, Kai Vartz for Arsenal. Been pretty rubbish, hasn't he, so far? Don't expect him to get any better either, to be honest. Um, what else have we got? So no real bargain sticking out here, guys, for a cheap option. I do like the idea of putting Hodgland in. I think United need him to perform as well, um, so he could be a really good backup option. So as I say, guys, that's one point over the 40 that I was hoping for, but that's still going to give me an average of 58 per player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the midfielders. I think I'm actually going to go with, hopefully, Saka, and Martinelli, if I can afford them. So let's just search for this. We're going to just filter this back to the uh, most selected, actually, because I think Saka should be near the top. There he is. He's actually 59. So there we go, 59 points. So that's a little bit over the budget, but still 57 on average for the rest of the team. Now the forward, I'm going to actually go with... Now, Haaland is tempting here, guys. Haaland is tempting, but my plan was to actually go for Martinelli, wasn't it? Or even Gabriel Jesus, if you're going to start. So, Martinelli is 57. Um, but Haaland is very tempting, actually. Rashford as well, he could get better. And then I could go for potentially two midfielders, couldn't I? So I could go with Odegaard and go for a two two midfielders there for Arsenal. So I feel I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to go with Odegaard there. So that leaves me 56 points left. Now, I can't afford Haaland, but I could potentially get Rashford and also leave myself a little wiggle room in terms of the points for future game weeks because guys you can do transfers as well uh, we'll come on to that in a moment just to have a look what the the rules are for that this year but you can do transfers each week and draft i think you can draft maybe one or two players each game week on so uh, obviously game weeks every week guys as long as there's matches well twice a week but for the premier league it's probably going to be mostly once a week isn't it for the weekend games Martinelli, of course. We can't have him now, though. I've already got two Arsenal players in there. 
So there's none really here that's sticking out in terms of the forwards. So I think the best option here is Alvarez is good as well though, isn't he, for uh, Man City. How much is... So, Jesus is... Rashford is tempting though, guys. I've got those two United forwards then. Um, he's going to be playing all the games, isn't he? They haven't, they haven't really got anyone else to rely on. So, I'm going to have to go with Rashford, being a United fan. So, once you have selected your team, guys, you can just go ahead and confirm draft. You will then be taken to the squad building team page. Here we go. So goalkeeper then, so I'm going to go for Carrier, good fixture as well at home to Sheffield United. I'll then also put Pod Pe Pedro Porro in defence there. Midfield I'm going to go with Saka, up front I'm going to go with Rashford. And in that second slot there I'm going to go with Odegaard. Of course if Hodgland starts out performing really well for United, I can then put him in this team potentially. And then maybe sell one of the other players something like that i'll just have them as a substitute so captain wise guys i think i'm actually going to go with um max rashford since they're at home at home to brighton not the hardest not the um, easiest game but yeah i think i'm going to go with um, rashford there as the captain and go ahead and confirm that so now that it's been confirmed guys if I go down here, look, as you can see, the team is in there registered. I can just click on that. And once you've picked your team as well, guys, you can redraft it at no extra cost. Okay, guys? So you can redraft your team. You decide to make some changes before the deadline. Is there any last-minute injury news or anything like that? You can just go ahead and redraft your team. Now, in terms of the transfers, guys, if I just go to the upcoming game week, I can go on one of these game weeks, these amateur leagues that have already started, but one in the other leagues in the world. So there's the French league here, guys. So if I click swap here, and then you can add cards. So as you can see, guys, it looks like it's going to be one transfer you can do per week. All you need to do is just add a card, select the card that you want to transfer, click confirm and then you also select the replacement tells you how much budget you have here guys that's obviously dependent on the guy that you're selling and of course the any coins or gems that you have in your kitty you would then go ahead and select a replacement once you've done that you go ahead and confirm obviously i don't want to confirm that because i don't want to actually do this transfer for my french team but yeah that was it guys that is how your draft your Premier League team on server fans football completely free to play guys give it a try see what you think if you do like it you can then go ahead and start building your squad of course you will get your free limited card if you sign up using the link below after buying your first five cards on auction if you then wanted to progress to some of the higher divisions for more prizes and of course guys if you're a fan of any other leagues around the world you can do a draft for the Bundesliga the French League 1, the Spanish La Liga, the American MLS as well, and the Italian Serie A. So plenty to get stuck into here, guys, on the Surrey Global Fantasy Football Game. If you do like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, you can sign up to the link in the description. Like I say, get your free limited card after buying your first five cards on auction. This is the best sign-up link out there, guys, so do make sure you use it if you do want to sign up and draft your team today. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again on the next video.